Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is another review for Snowfall Season 6, Episode 3, Door of No Return. How did you guys feel about this episode? Did you feel like it was necessary, like it was one of the necessary ones? Because I didn't. I felt like it was a filler. <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't even know what we doing here. <laughs> and when I got to the end of the episode, I was like, damn, this is Ain't nothing even go down. Like nothing exciting happened at all. I guess we got. I guess they got to bring Leon and Wanda Roulette back into the fold. But I mean, they just could have just came back. <laughs> we could have. Y'all could have kept all that other stuff. But I guess. I guess we needed to know what was going on with them in Africa. You know. So okay. Um, <clears throat> Leon and Wanda. They. Uh, they made it to Ghana. He's made some friends, you know, Leon, you know, everybody in the village, you know, out at the little shops. He's looking for Wanda Roulette. He finds her buying jewelry, you know, buying all sorts of things. It's nice. It's nice. But Leon is ready to get back. He's ready to get back home. He feels like he left and just left things in disarray and just kind of turned his back on everybody. Wanda Roulette, on the other hand, she wants to stay. But Leon say, no, we're going back. <laughs> We going back. She ain't trying to go back to the projects, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Wanda and Leon, they are like at a tourist site and um, they're learning about the Middle Passage and basically all the tales of our people selling our people. And when it with Leon, he feels like that's exactly what he was doing. <laughs> you know, like selling his people crack he might as well have been selling them into slavery. Wanda Roulette, of course, is trying to, you know, get him to understand that it's not on that level. Like, he's reaching a bit. Um, he did not sell his people into slavery. Um, you know, people make a choice to use drugs. You know, like, them people ain't have no choice. Those people didn't have a choice. But when it comes to an addict... Like you can't take responsibility. I mean, some some of the responsibility is on the on the dealer because if not for them, where are they gonna get it? But they'll get it somewhere because they're an addict. <laughs> so it, it's a shared it's a shared it's a shared thing. Um, he feels like that you know it's easier for people to escape slavery than it is for people to escape addiction, which is you know what that exactly what I just said um giving somebody crack and they're a, they're an addict more than likely they're gonna always go back to that or they're gonna all, they're gonna always have that problem um whereas when a slave is free they are free ain't no going back so they're talking about the decision to go back to the states and Leon is pretty adamant that you know, he needs to go back to create the change that he wants to see <laughs> in his community. She thinks, listen, we can do that from here. Maybe bring some of the folk out here. I'm like, y'all, what y'all going to fly out the whole projects? <laughs> y'all going to send for the whole projects? Like the whole project unit cannot fly out to Africa and be with y'all and live free. No, Wanda Roulette, that's not how life works. I mean, it sounds good, but I don't even know. Is, is the money long like that? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, he says that he's not doing it without her. So they got a decision to make and the two of them make the decision. They have a traditional African wedding. It's nice. It's real nice. You know, the, the, the garb and everything It's nice. Um, at the reception that's on the beach, he tells his friend, you know, that he's going to head back home. And um, he got to get some business in order back in the back in the states. But tonight they celebrate. Leon and Wanda Roulette they get back to the projects. You know they got all these gifts and all this stuff to give everybody. Walking through the projects, they see all the armed guards, and it's just it's different. It's different. Um, the mathematician he he fills Leon in on everything that's been going on 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 Franklin, Robin, Jerome, and Louis. On them hitting back. And it's been crazy since she left. <laughs> it's been a lot going on since y'all left. Over there um, with Jerome and Louie, they're like walking out. of. It looked like they was at a bank. I don't know. But they walking out. As soon as they step outside, somebody starts shooting at them. And so now it's a shootout. Jerome firing back. Then somebody 
um, runs up on Franklin's um, brokerage firm. And they start shooting up the place. And so, and then after that, Jerome and Louis Club got shot up. Leon wants to know, you know, like, what does any of this have to do with Big D? Like, why he got these armed guards? Like, what does that have to do with him? And, um, Kane's people, you know, killed Big D's cousin. Went into the barbershop, walked right up on him, and shot him execution style right there in front of everybody in the broad daylight. And so... Um, after that, then Kane got two other niggas at the car wash. And then the crazy part is, Franklin tried to kill Big D while he was on the toilet, you know, but he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He was interrupted by all the police. <laughs> Some police just walked right in. And so he can't do it. Leon's sitting up there like, I don't believe none of this. You know, I mean, but thank you for all the tea. <laughs> um... Then we see Louis, she out riding horses. Um, when she's really supposed to be at the drop in a few, she says she just wants 10 more minutes. Okay, enough of that. Franklin, he's at his office, you know, mad as hell at everything and everybody. He on his way to meet with um girlfriend and sissy. <clears throat> um I don't know, I don't know, Franklin. <laughs> I, well, I guess I get it. I guess I get it. He's supposed to be like this because he done lost all his money and he's trying to get it back. So I guess he's supposed to have this type of disposition. But Franklin get on my nerves. <laughs> Franklin, you get on my nerves. He's get on my nerves. <laughs> it's like everybody, you you mad at everybody and I need you to calm down because everybody ain't do it. Okay, it was Teddy Reed. So don't be giving me all your attitude. Don't give me all your attitude. Um... Anyway, he see, he see, um, oh no, he not mean sissy. He mean, he mean girlfriend and girlfriend mama. And when he walk up on them, they just, they, they been kikiing and he got an attitude looking at them like, what y'all laughing at? And it's like, so we not supposed to sit and have a conversation before you walk up? What's wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, she tells him that the files will be in his hands tomorrow. While Louis and, um... Gustavo make the drop. The DEA, they lying in the bushes, taking all the pictures, getting all the evidence. Teddy Reed, he on the line, wheeling and dealing. And um Gustavo drops by, you know, with the with the with the with the money from the drop. Teddy Reed tells him he needs him back at 3 a.m. They go on to Costa Rica. Gustavo, I know his heart fell to his stomach. <laughs> he like for how long? And Teddy Reed tells him, I don't know, a day or two, maybe. You can't trust that nigga telling you, let's go somewhere. Because the last time he took somebody out of the country, they didn't return. Um. Anyway, Leon drops in on Big D. Big D say Franklin done lost his mind. You know, he tried to kill him. You know, he tried to kill me. Then he says um, that Franklin lost all his money. You know, he tells Leon Franklin lost all his money. And that's why, you know, he out here acting like this. That's why he <laughs> hit Jerome and Louie. Big D asks if um, Leon is back. You know, are you back and you back in the fold? Are you back, back? And um, Leon is like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Big D says, that's cool. Long as you stay in your lane. <laughs> you know, don't be trying to jump in and, and be in defense, you know, in defense mode with Franklin. Stay out of it. If you out of it, stay out of it. Teddy Reed, he's getting ready to go to Costa Rica. His handler friend, you know, wants to know if the Mexican is going with him. I was like, not the Mexican. Mm, so you one of those. <laughs> he asked me if the Mexican is going with him. And um, he's like, it's a good thing that you bringing him. The team that they meeting, you know, they like to tussle. So you're going to need the backup. Um, if y'all are attacked... They going to need to take, you know, one of them, at least one of them alive. Gustavo, he calls the DEA from a payphone, you know, because he worried. He needs help, you know. He was like, listen, I need to talk. I need to talk to y'all right now. <laughs> Tell, you know, then he go, when he does talk to him, he tells him about the trip, you know, the trip to Costa Rica. And um, he thinks that it's a hit. 
of course the DEA. Oh, well, there's no, really nothing that we can do. It's really nothing. They don't give a fuck about Gustavo. Gustavo, they they will let you die. You might as well save yourself. You might as well save yourself. Um, they say that they're gonna be moving in on Teddy's warehouse soon. So just try to be back from Costa Rica before that. Gustavo's nervous as hell, you know, on his flight to Costa Rica. He's just trembling and shaking. <laughs> when they get there, they go to the meeting. Teddy Reed gives them the play-by-play. -play, and, of course, Gustavo is there to translate. Wanda Roulette, she visits her grandma. And her grandma don't even let her in the door. Grandma like, what you want? You came to give me back what you stole? Get off my porch otherwise. <laughs> She's standing there all shocked and surprised like, Mama, that grandma, that was when I was on the rock. Grandma said, where are my pearls? You robbed me, beat me up. Girl, get out of here. Grandma ain't forgot. You might have got clean, but grandma didn't forget. You need to, uh, are you doing the steps? Because right now it's time to make amends. Because, <laughs> girl, you just don't show up, roll up back to somebody's house after you did all that and think that they should let you in their home. She really, she, grandma really... <laughs> Paid her dish. She was like, I got a gift. Oh, okay. You can leave it on the door if you want. And close the door. I was like, damn, Grandma. I mean, I was kind of, it was kind of messed up, but I understand, Grandma. I understand. You get, when, when it comes to an addict, the addict in the family, at some point, Grandma be fed up. Tired. Not doing it no more. Don't come around here. <laughs> and you have to. You have to. <clears throat> Otherwise, they'll keep coming back, stealing all your stuff. <laughs> you taking your money, asking you for money. You, you like the enablement. You know, the enabling will continue to happen if you don't nip it in the bud. Anyway, uh, Franklin and girlfriend, um, they going in their limo and they, they, they finna go meet with Sissy. Um, or no. No, yeah, they gonna go meet with Sissy. Anyway, Leon, he drops by Jerome and Louie's club. You know, he got a wedding gift for them. Louie and Jerome, like, they kind of short with him. I'm like, what, 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 what y'all mad at? <laughs> I don't know, but they resent him for whatever reason. He's trying to convince them, you know, to retreat. You know, stop the madness. Let's stop, let's stop the foolishness. Being over in Africa, you know, has enlightened him. You know, very much so. Jerome want to know, what, what does it concern you? You not family? What what concern is it of yours? <laughs> Leon is like, what you mean by that? What you mean I ain't family? Jerome tells him, Franklin used you. You know, now you got bodies on you. And since you done killed a kid, you know, you done saw the light. I don't know what was wrong with Jerome, but he was really rude <laughs> to Leon. Um, and he tells him to get the fuck out. Take that dumb shit with you. I was like, oh, what is all of this? <laughs> he was like, no, nah, you keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I don't care. I'm not, what? <laughs> Brought you a gift and that's what you do? You could have kept your gift. You really could have kept your gift because they ain't deserve. They did not deserve. Anyway, Teddy and Gustavo, they in Costa Rica. Gustavo asked some questions about the war. You know, how much longer we all going to be doing this? What happens when it's over? All of that. What happens to us? Teddy Reed, lying ass, tell them they'll go their separate ways. Yeah, right. You're going to kill him. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Gustavo, he heads for the port. And then they ambush the men or whatever and start shooting left and right. Um, on the flight back to the States, Teddy Reed, he's looking through their bags. You know, he's looking for something in particular and he finds this screw. And um, he unscrews the top of it. It's basically a little something, a little hidden, a little hidden gem. Inside of it is a note, and he says it is from the Russians. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Leon drops by Franklin's house. Um, his house been destroyed, you know, by Jerome and Louis. <laughs> they talk about Africa. Leon said he loved it, but you know he has to come back and be home for the people. Um, he learned a lot. Franklin tells him that Javi is no longer with us. You know, his warehouse was burned down and we ain't seen or heard from Javi since. He a little toe up about it. You know, they Javi was Javi was 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 one of the ones. <laughs> Javi was one of the ones especially and, and Javi and um Leon had a special relationship. Kind of mentored him a little bit. Um 
Franklin tells him about his problems. You know, basically, I need you to really pick a side. You either going to be with me or you might as well go on, on back to Africa. <laughs> Get out while you still can because, listen, it's a lot going on around here. I can't have nobody around me that's not finna be ready to ride. <laughs> if not, listen, let me know. Let me know. Franklin say no judgment. Just let me know. Just let me know. Listen, pick a side or get the fuck out while you can. <laughs> that was just, and that was just really that. Honestly, that was that. That was the end. Um, yeah, I really ain't, ain't got no more. <laughs> Shout out to Funky Dineva. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to a better episode next, next, well, this week. <laughs> um, tomorrow. <laughs> Looking forward to a better episode because this one was very filler. I guess they needed to just let us know what went down with um, Leon and Wanda Roulette. Okay, that's cool and all. Can we get back to the good part? <laughs> anyway, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light.